Alright, so I, we're going to be doing the epilogue of Lantern Rites. I don't know if this is actually the last part or there's gonna be one more. I don't know how long this epilogue is going to be, but I hope it is as long as possible. I think this is, you know, the moment we're going to see Venti, Xiao, and Zhongli and stuff interacting with each other and I'm so excited for that. So let's just jump right into it because I, I just cannot wait any longer. It's time for the banquet. I just really hope I'm not gonna be disappointed. I've been hoping for a closure of the Xiaovin situation. I feel like if there was a moment that they should bring up the topic, this is the right moment and this is the right timing to um, bring it up. Like this is a perfect opportunity to do so. So I just hope they won't miss it. Like at least just bring up the topic at least for like one minute or whatever. I don't know. We haven't really like encountered them in the first two parts. So we've just seen them in a cutscene, but Oh, finally we're gonna hear their voices and everything. I miss them and as always, they're inseparable. <laughs> they sit next to each other, understandable. Oh, well, not, re not, not even surprised at this point. Ooh, that's so good to hear. I'm so happy for her. Getting the recognition she deserves. Oh, so Hu Tao wanted to? Wait. Is she gonna bring up Xiao or Venti? You and who? Oh, so she really went to bring up Xiao. Wow. I mean, how did... <laughs> I am I am surprised as you are. He actually accepted Hu Tao's invitation? Or maybe... Ah, oh, okay, maybe because she said that Zhong Li was there, right? <laughs> oh, right. This is gonna be a little... I'm I'm here for it. Like, we, we never actually seen, like, Xiao and Zhongli interact with each other, um, apart from the chasm cutscene. <laughs> so you're gonna play pretend, huh? <laughs> Stop. Look at his tone, speaking all nervous. <laughs> That's so cute. Aww, I love hearing him speak like that. It's just so cute seeing this side of him. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be so hard for him to adjust and speak in a non polite way. I mean, in a no like. <sighs> eh, we're old friends. <laughs> Look at Hu Tao setting them up together. <laughs> we stand Hu Tao. Hu Tao. Yeah, I guess not everyone um, who's friends with Ether knows that he's friends with other people. Aww. <laughs> it's like a meeting. <laughs> a fan meeting. <laughs> it's gonna spill the beans. No, don't embarrass him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right! His voice lines about Xiao, he's like, I don't like when people disrespect, exert them. I knew it is gonna embarrass him. <laughs> Shut up, Xinqiu. Belated isn't the right word to use here. <laughs> don't make it harder for him. I love that. I, I actually am happy that Hu Tao um, planned this whole gathering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all deserve this quiet peaceful moment of gathering yeah how she did it i'm really curious i thought that Jun Li actually told him to come really huh so you refused this invitation for three years to watch the lanterns with him and you easily accept hu tao's invitation he got to know Ether well and their friendship, their bond became stronger after the chasm. So as we've seen in the trailer that Hoyoverse released um, like yesterday, I guess, he was watching the lanterns with Ether. I just felt that was really a wholesome thing to do since Ether um, actually chose to celebrate Lantern Night with Xiao out of everyone, you know, the night and spent it with Xiao watching the lanterns. That was really nice. Ooh. <laughs> Guardian of Wang in Hero of Jihua Marsh. <laughs> she dropped all the titles. <laughs> yeah, so she actually really screamed his name and annoyed him till he accepted, maybe. 
Was he about? <laughs> was he worried about his karma? <laughs> yeah, either no, since that's why he refused his invitation multiple times. Well, of course. He is close to him. That's kind of out of his comfort zone. I mean, we already know that he's not used to be around so many people. It's Venti! Shh! Listen! Yes, we know that, since we know Venti was here before Lantern, right? The entrance of the Animal Archon! Stop! I missed him again! I Like, no matter how many times I, I see my animal voice and Albedo, I miss them. Always. I'm always missing them. I never get enough of them, like... <laughs> Venti. This is finally our moment. The Xiao Venti encounter and like interaction we've been dreaming for for like almost two years now. This is my favorite lantern, right? Huh? Ah, right! They met! The Erdori Festival, I forgot! <laughs> okay, good catch, Venti. Oh, we're only missing Albedo and Kazuha. The Erdori Festival gang. <laughs> look at the Look at this smug look. Oh, I'm gonna burn. Listen, I've been waiting for this for like two years now. Oh, you guys have no idea how much happy I feel. I'm just containing myself. Like I'm just trying to not really scream, okay? <gasps> so he is gonna bring it up. Of course they will keep it low. <laughs> I mean, they're in front of everyone. <laughs> they should keep it low. Uh, it's so funny seeing them all like that trying not to expose themselves. <laughs> Literally, this table is full of secrets. It is really a new friend. It is really funny to see this. Oh, you're not, you're not far. You're not far. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny seeing them all trying to hold back the secrets. Paimon always is oblivious to everything. My god, you're gonna ruin it again. Oh, uh, the new friendship we never expected. <laughs> the shade. I, I just want to see them all uh, drop in the facade. I need a scene of them all, like just, I mean not all, like just them. Ether, Xiao, Venti, and um, Zhongli. Just these four and them drop in the facade and drop in the play, pretend. I really want to see that. No, well, um, I guess is it is a good idea not to drink wine. I don't want to see his drunk ass uh, at the moment. I want you all to be sober for this. What's wrong? Xiao. Sure. Are you done eating? Wanna head out for a walk? I ate too much. Could you come? Uh huh, uh huh. We're gonna save his ass. That's great. No, no, stay. Stay. Yes. Oh, yes. This is the best thing that have happened so far. Yes, Paimon. Stay here and shut the fuck up and don't follow them. <laughs> Good riddance! We saved his ass. Okay, let me just talk to everyone. Oblivious as always. Nah. Oh no, don't lie to him. Aw, but he trusts you to tell you even if it's not the truth actually. Precisely why I didn't want you to drink. You will spill the beans. Alright Xiao, let's get out of here. Finally some alone time with Xiao. Finally we're gonna see him get comfortable a little bit with Ether and not just always surrounded by people and like just him appearing for like one second and just going away and vanishing finally like some a real conversation if you know what i mean i'm gonna wait for you to stop being pixelated you're ruining my view mm -hmm, like i should be the one asking you that it is it is obvious your discomfort is obvious Aww. Like, I, I'm really happy that Xiao is comfortable enough to, you know, speak his mind. 
with ether. It is really good to see. It's all Venti's fault. Why would it be Venti's fault? L listen, I'm gonna go with Venti's fault because I'm a sucker for Xiaoban interaction. I just want to see what he will be saying about that. So, oh, I see, like, he is the complete opposite of you, but at the same time, you went through kind of like the same shit, so we understand each other, but he is as you describe him right now, you're describing him right now. Yeah, see? You don't have to be like them, you do you! Aww. Stop, that's so cute. I am really happy that he's comfortable like this with Ether. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he came because. Stop. You came because you knew Ether is gonna be there? No one would have guessed. True. Listen, uh, General uh, Kapisa had taste. Thank you, General, for uh, designing the uh, Jonli outfits we have now. What do you want? <laughs> you are! <laughs> Just kidding. Of course, Pime. <sighs> oh my god. What? Okay, listen, I I get that Paimon is kind of attached to Ether since she only has him. Like, they're together and everything. We've seen that in the scenario how she got so worried that he, he will be gone and everything. I get that. But now you're just getting way too far with it. Like, like he, he didn't even go away for like five minutes. And you're already stirring up trouble inside. Like, why? Why are you always ruining the moment? I'm really done with Paimon, like I always say that, but I genuinely mean it. Like I'm so done with Paimon's bullshit, like <sighs> I'm really really done with that. Almond Tofu! Oh that's so thoughtful of her. Ahem. We say thank you. That's it. I love Xiao and Ether's relationship so much. Aw, look how Ether's helping him. He's helping him be a little social. That's so wholesome. No, we just... Yeah, we can't keep Paimon waiting. Just, uh, just let her wait. We don't care. Yeah, okay? Y if you knew they were whispering secrets to each other, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you ruining everything? Exactly. They didn't even take five minutes. Shut up. Stop guilt tripping him. Just eat it, I don't freaking care. No, don't say story. Get lost. We don't want to talk to you too. Venti, 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 play us something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Objection! Uh huh, we are not. Yeah, of course you're not very familiar. You just met him. Xiao had enough of this play pretend bullshit. They're ganging up on you. It's to you now, Shinju. <laughs> <laughs> Xiaomin is like, yeah, yeah. Everyone's gonna get it. You know what? I think that Ether's gonna be the, the final choice. No, he's gonna pass it on to, Shin, to Xiaomin. Oh, I knew it. No. They're passing it to Xiaomin. Okay, Xiao's gonna pass it to Ether. <laughs> Yeah, I think it, I think he's gonna say it's you since Ether is the oldest of them all. Wow, now that I think about it, Ether is the literally the oldest of this entire gang here. <laughs> I knew it. All eyes on you. I I vote for Ether too. Ether, Ether. Definitely not. Why did you have to do that, Ether? No, not you two! Nah, I think they would have been much, much better and less annoying. You're the best travel companion. No, Ether! I refuse! I beg to defer! <laughs> of course you do. The food and dessert were delicious. Yeah, thanks for the treat, Director. It was a really, really good evening. Like, it was a good gathering. I love that. 
No, wait, wait a sec. You're telling me we're not gonna see Xiao and Venti interacting with each other all alone? No! <laughs> no! Wait, I'm, I'm really devastated right now. I will literally cry right now. I feel so bad. I feel like I I really have tears in my eyes right now. What? You're telling me after all this shit, all this waiting, I'm not gonna witness Xiao and Venti interacting with each other alone? Like without the pretend thingy? Without anyone getting in the way? Aww. I mean, it is gonna be harder for Xiao to just drop the formalities immediately and stuff i mean he, he you know what i mean and here they are alone well not exactly since an annoying thing is there Aww. it is so hard to say goodbyes the feelings mutual you don't have to thank me every time right bye take care take care of yourself he's gone He's gone. Such as my Xiao Venti interaction. Like, Venti said something about the harbor. Uh, Venti always says, oh, you know where. No, I don't. Tell us the place next time. Is he getting drunk somewhere? I swear, God. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go to Wangshu Inn first. I have no idea where Venti is. Like, I'm gonna look it up right now. <laughs> Maybe someone already posted it somewhere. I don't know. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, the, the Crux Fleet. Right. Oh, say it next time, Venti. Don't make me look like that. <gasps> he is here. <laughs> oh no, my controller died. My gamepad died and I didn't really have the opportunity to share with you my final thoughts on Lantern Rite nor to record the ending of it, like me visiting every character and hearing what they have to say. Okay, the first thing I want to say is this is for sure my favorite Lantern Rite so far. I really enjoyed it and loved it so much. It was just an incredible experience so far. And I'm honestly kind of glad that I waited for the parts to be released rather than, you know, playing them separately. I went to the Crux Fleet to see Venti and to my surprise, Kazuha was there too. I was shocked and I was really happy to see him of course. Seeing Kazuha is always a pleasant surprise. One thing though that Venti said, my height has nothing to do with my age. I guess Hoiverse in the game were so done with people calling every short character they see a minor. So they just had to lay it down for them to see and hear clearly because they do not understand. I also have one thing to say, it's just a thought that I've been thinking about while playing the game and just going through you know TikTok and social media in general to see um, people <laughs> talking about Lantern right and stuff so you all know my traveler is ether right and it feels kind of weird to me if i come across like a scene from lantern right and lumine is being there instead of ether because i'm so used to ether uh being the traveler and especially since he's always there in official arts and trailers videos you know what i mean so in my head um ether is the traveler and lumine is the abyss sibling so seeing lumine in a scene instead of ether doesn't really hit the same to me it's just kind of weird i don't know i'm not saying that i don't like her or anything I, it just kind of it feels weird to me seeing her um, in someone else's gameplay <laughs> and also the fact that I main ether and I run around with him and just you know do story stuff with him and everything it just kind of feels natural to me and like a normal thing to do and yeah like it feels more accurate story-wise that way for example like this scene where he was drowning in everything, you know, the pretend drowning, and Xiao came and saved him and stuff. Like, it was kind of accurate, because I felt like, you know, you went there to drown with Aether and stuff. I, I don't know, it, it felt accurate, story-wise. Like, like, when I see other people using Kazuha, for example, or just another character, and especially when they, like, use the self-insert uh, traveler thingy, which is so weird for me. I always wonder, like, how? do these people experience the game like damn you play like this <laughs> couldn't be me like it's so weird how do y'all play like this it doesn't feel off to you like i don't know why i'm am i even saying this it's just um a thought that i've been having for a long time but yeah so far this year's lantern night was extremely beautiful and good uh the gui and madam story was so amazing the epilogue was just a really wholesome gather up for all the characters to just have interactions and everything and it was really nice to see Xiao's character development. He really went from I do not concern myself with the mortal shit and stuff to 
this to actually being in this gathering and hanging out with everyone and especially his relationship with Ether like seeing him this much comfortable with him he shares his feelings and lay down his thoughts to Ether really makes my heart warm it is just so soft to see <laughs> but I digress this is all I have to say for now and yeah I'll see you guys in next videos <laughs> bye